Hi, I'm Ignacio Fernandez Llorente. Welcome to Polo In. In this video, we'll be analyzing the knocking in the middle of the field. Usually, when a player knocks in in the middle, he doesn't have any passing options. Usually, the ball handler doesn't find any passing opportunities, and so he ends up hitting a strong pass in the middle. This ball is a divided ball. It is important for the opponent's team to strongly mark your close opponent and win your mini-match. Try to push the game towards your opponent's goal. Try to try to make your opponent play with a backhander. Any long ball in the middle of the field is a divided ball. The first player getting to the ball has the ball. If you draw your mini-match, the ball stays there for the player behind you. The idea is to have your opponent play the the ball backwards and to see if he commits a mistake. If your opponent hits a short backhander, the ball could get back to you in an interesting position to go forward again. If your opponents play a backhander, as usually the ball is in their field, their teammates will be late in turning around, so the ball could get back to you. Here the green player has no real passing options and make a long shot in the middle. His green teammates need to do their work. They need to pressure their opponents and try to win the ball back. If you decide to hit a ball in the middle, it has to be a strong ball. The ball needs to pass in front of all the players. The idea is at least to gain some positions in the field to get closer to your opponent's goal. The receiving players, so your teammates, need to adapt to the strength of your swing. If your teammates run forward too fast and you don't have such a strong swing, the ball might stay behind them, which is dangerous for a counter-attack. Let's see here in this example the red player. He has the ball and he has no passing options. He ends up putting a strong ball in the middle. The advantage is that his team has been going forward meanwhile and is now closer to the opponent's goal. Here again the red players hit the ball forward. It's a divided ball and they win the ball back. Here again, the red player makes a long pass in the middle. It looks like the ball is lost for the Reds, but one of his teammates is very good to get the ball back. The good result of a knock-in depends from the ball handler and from the receiver. In this new example, the white player gets the ball and goes forward. If the knocking is in the middle of the field and it's short, it's not good. In this case, the light blue players play a short knocking in the middle. There's an emergency. Here once again, the yellow player take advantage of a short knocking in the middle of the field and the counter-attack is immediate. Here again, the white player cannot hit the ball and he decides to advance in the middle of the field. He loses the ball and it's a big problem for the whites. The risk of short knockings in the middle is that the opponent's team can take the ball easily and there's no defense on the teams which has been knocking in. Here the violet player knock in in the middle with a short knocking directly to the best opponent. Big problem for the Violet team. Knocking in the middle of the field by the black players. The light blue players take the ball. Emergency. Here again, the white players are making a knocking in the middle of the field with a short pass. Emergency. The red players get the ball back. We've been looking at many examples and the problem is always the same with a knocking in the middle with a short pass. Again with the blue players, knocking in the middle and with a short ball. Problem. Emergency. In this example, the violet player has no passing options. Plus, he misses his shot. This can happen and it does happen. In this case, it is most important to get ready to win the next play. As you can see in the example, 
Knockings in the middle of the field usually happen because there's no passing option or because he misses his shot or even because there's no knocking strategy and the receivers do not know how to move around the field. It is very important to discuss the strategy for a knock-in. Long knockings in the middle oblige your opponent to play the ball backwards. The objective here is to advance in the field. In this case, your team needs to pressure the opponents. A short knocking is a problem. If you have a player with a very strong swing, in this case, he could play a ball in the middle towards the opponent's goal. Here the red player hits a strong swing forwards towards the goal. The white hits a strong swing forwards towards the goal. The red players are putting pressure on the white players and the ball ends up in the goal. Here a very strong and nice swing from the black number 4 towards the opponent's goal. The black players pressure their opponents, they get the ball back and score a goal. When you pressure your opponent close to his goal, it usually brings good results. Here the yellow player with a very strong and large swing gets the ball close to the opponent's goal. I hope you enjoy Poloin videos. Do not forget to click like. We are here to help and argument the game, to help more people to understand and play Polo. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Polo In is often updated. There are many new videos. You shouldn't miss any of them. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.